to go to Gun today? Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I recently went back to work after eight amazing months with my daughter Yael. Uh, we spent eight months together and then for me it was time to go back to work and of course I had to find her a uh, proper daycare. In this video I wanted to talk all about daycare in Israel and in Tel Aviv where we live and we're going to talk about prices and I'll show you a little bit how we started our first days on daycare and how that went and at the end I'll give you an inside look into our daycare center. So Israel has free compulsory education from age 3 till age 16. That means that ages 0 to 3 are not um, funded by the government and parents have to pay for it. In the in the recent elections, there actually was talk about making zero to three part of the free uh, education system. There are some daycare centers in Israel that are sort of government uh, supervised and there you are able to get a subsidy if you are lower socioeconomic or a single mom or a student, things like that. There's different rankings and you're able to get subsidized by the government and get much cheaper daycare. So we'll start from the most expensive option, which is a one-on-one -on -one caregiver. In Hebrew, it's called a metapelet. So this is the best because it's kind of like replacing mom. They say that in the first year and a half or so in the child's life, what they really need is care they need to they need someone to attend to their needs the assumption is that one-on-one -on -one care will be the best for uh, the baby's needs and attending to their needs as soon as possible obviously some of the cons of this is that it is very expensive like you see here the price in tel aviv is about nine thousand shekels i think tel aviv has the most expensive daycare options so it's probably cheaper in other parts of the country really it's at the baby's house which also means sometimes there's a little bit of hassle. You just want to work at home and then the baby's in the house and it's hard to work at home. Sometimes the parents have to prepare the baby's food. So this adds a little bit of hassle. Because it's so expensive, sometimes people want to share nannies, like have two babies together with a nanny. And someone offered this option to us, but we didn't want to take it and I'll get to why soon. The second option is a mishpachton. This usually means one or two women in their private house they have mishpachton in Hebrew, mishpacha means family. So it's a little bit more of a family vibe. It's usually at their house, kids of different ages. And obviously it's a cheaper option. Tel Aviv is usually around 4,000, 4,500 shekels, which is $1,300. It's pretty similar to the option that we chose, which is the cheapest option, which is ma'on. Ma'on is a very organized setup. It's in a public building, and there's usually a few caregivers to a group of about 10, 15, or even 20 babies. There are laws and regulations about how many uh, caregivers you have to have for a certain number of babies. I think that the regulation up to age one is that you have to have no more than five babies for one caregiver. This is very organized. They set up the food. Uh, it's the cheapest option. Uh, God forbid, you know, there are cases when there's some abuse and stuff like that. You hope that the more babies and caregivers and supervision there is, the less these cases are gonna happen in uh, places like this. One of the downsides is that there's a lot of babies to attend to, so maybe your baby isn't getting the best uh, care. And of course, with so many babies, there are a lot of viral viruses going around and parents find themselves sometimes in the first year or two of the baby's life just constantly taking sick days from work. We chose a ma'on that we love. Our first two kids went there uh, when they, they started when they were babies and we love the place. No hassle. We take there in the morning. We pick her up. Uh, everything's very organized. Love this place. We know them. We know them at Taplot. So for us, it was a no brainer. So I want to show you what it was like our first few days in starting the Gan. So we are on our way to the Gan for the first time. I'm uh, excited, a little bit nervous. I don't know if I was this nervous with the two first kids. I know that it's the right thing for me and for her, but I'm still, my stomach is a little bit rumbling. Hope it all goes well. Wow. 
Yesterday I was with her the whole time. Today she's gonna be by herself as well. So I brought a bag of pumped milk and uh, I brought her diapers and all the stuff that they wrote down to bring. We'll see how many hours. I think I said it's pretty flexible. We'll see how she how she's feeling, if she's doing well or if she's missing me. They told me to just leave. Hope she'll do okay. They're gonna call me if anything is requires me to come. So basically the first day I was with her for about two, three hours, I sat with her and I saw she loved it and she was singing and super happy. Second day I left her for a few hours. Uh, they called me and they said that she, uh, you know, wasn't, she wasn't super happy. She was kind of, she wasn't really eating, so I came and picked her up early. The third day, she was actually doing great there. Uh, but what happened was at the end of the third day, I brought her home and she got some sort of virus and she wasn't feeling good for a few days. So one day I got to daycare a little bit early and the class was open, so I decided to take an inside look and to show you what our daycare looks like inside. This is also kind of what a lot of daycares in Tel Aviv and in Israel look like. It's the main class. Okay. Big room. All the babies. This is where they have, yeah, all the babies and their clothes. And they change their diaper here. Here, yeah, it is where you eat, right? It's where you eat. And they have, I guess, the freezer. They have lots of frozen milk for moms. And also maybe some real milk for moms. And then they have the play area. You want to sit and play a little bit, Yael? Keflach. Fede keflach. Hey, oh. And these are the beds. Each baby has their own bed. And then we have a few more cribs here. Where's Yael's bed? Here's our bed. Here's our bed. Oh, it's very nice. Very nice. Here they write down. Let's see, we're a little bit early. Starts at eight on Friday, so we have some time. It says what they ate, what they did, when they ate, when they it says when they woke up, when they ate breakfast, when they slept, and Yael, she had bottles, she ate. She's pretty very nicely. If you're going back to work or um, you're thinking about sending to daycare, best of luck and hope you and your baby thrive. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.